Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing how to overclock a Pascal based CPU like the GTX 1060, 1070, 1080, and even with Titan XP. I'll be using today a GTX 1080 from EVGA. It's a Griffin design board with the ACX 3.0 cooler on it, so cooling should be no problem. And if you didn't see my last video, it should be found around here, somewhere, when I make the video. And in the next couple of days, I'll be making a video about a uh, Samsung 960 EVO versus a regular SSD, how much faster is it? So subscribe so you don't miss it. But now, let's start with overclocking. Okay, the first thing you need is an overclocking program. You can use EVGA Precision X, MSC Afterburner or Azure TPU Trick 2. Today I'll be using EVGA uh, Precision X. To stress test my TPU I'll be using Heaven Benchmark 4.0. You can stress test in, in normal games too and in 3D Mark, it doesn't matter. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my program here. I have four different things, power target, temp target, CPU clock and memory clock. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just slide the power target to max. I'm going to unlink temp target to 87 degrees, you can leave it at 92, it doesn't matter, but I just want to be under the 90. So I'm gonna click apply. And now I'm gonna make a custom fan curve. Just gonna enable automatic fan control. I'm gonna use this one, this fan curve. You can make your own fan curve, so like you go up and down, but I like this one, it's really good and not, it's really silence. You see now. The RP RPM is going up, just slightly at the beginning and then going down again. Okay, so now we're going to open the Heaven Benchmark 4.0 to see what boost clock are we hitting without overclocking. Okay, let's see here. We are hitting around 1885 MHz. It should go down, probably a bit, yeah, it's 160, because the temps was going up, it's fine. Okay, so next thing we're going to do now is we're going to actually begin the overclocking. We're going to try here with GPU clock offset to 50 megahertz, or 60 megahertz, it's fine. Let's see if the clock, GPU clock go up. And it did bit up. Now it's running at 1911 megahertz. Which is not bad at all. It's really good. But the thing we need to look after is we need to look if you gotta hit the power limit. Let's see here we have TPU voltages. Here's the power limit. If that will hit one, we're gonna throttle down. See here. Okay. You could just try start with plus 60 on the DPU, the uh, core clock, and then slowly crack it up to let's try 85. And now make it to be yeah, 1936 MHz. And the DPU is still at 62 degrees, which is really good. And we could try to bump it up some more. 109. And we're almost at 2 GHz range. And now we're going to take the memory clock. Memory clock is really good to get up in, uh, in some games. You really gotta get a lot of FPS from it. This controller I have is really good, so I can just go plus 500. But just you need to start really small. Just start with plus around 100 see memory clock is going up 5100 just go slowly up a bit of time to see if you go unstable or not this is not the greatest car so I know this car, car can only do around 2 gigahertz on the core clock uh, I, I have been really unlucky so it's not the best one 
tilt is at 65 degrees and the core clock is around 87, 74 okay I can take now the memory the memory clock offset a bit more of 269 and you can see it goes up Temps is really good Temps is not that bad uh, let's see yeah. I can max to 150 and I don't know why I can't type it in with some buck so I'm just gonna say 170 on uh, 47 so now I'm gonna hit the 2 gigahertz mark of the 1999 and you can just I can all tap this uh, okay and it's just running it's pretty good now we have a little bit of overclock to 2 gigahertz this is a really simple overclocking just go slowly like 25 to 30 megahertz at a time and you should be fine um, well, there's nothing more to say about it. This is a really basic overclocking. It's easy to overclock, and well, just do it like this, and you'll be fine. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.